Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. You What's okay? I'm here, man. What's up? I don't know. I'll keep dropping out. See, this is what happens when you live in such a, a snooty area that they can't get you good Wi-Fi in the mountains. Dude, let me tell you something. I would be inside. Everyone's sleeping in my house. I'm trying to be like a good person. A good, look at this. Aww. A good dad. Oh, you win Daddy of the Year award. Yeah, That's good. Come on, and let man. Olivia sleep. Clue. Let Olivia sleep. There's nothing worse than waking up your wife early when she can sleep. Believe me. I Trust know me. I know. You, we might hear a car driving by every once in a while, but we'll be okay. All right. I'm going to guess it's a Mercedes or uh, something tricked out, maybe a Bentley, <laughs> based on the neighborhood you live on. This That's early cool. in the morning, it's a lot of um, there's a lot of work being done. I know. All right. Well, let's get to it. Uh, let's start with the crazy weekend that the Mets had. They were a ninth inning Conforto come from behind game winning homer away from being swept in Pittsburgh. DeGrom and Lindor both landed on the injured list as well. Their lead in the National League East is down to just two games over the Phillies in a tightly compacted division. Ease the panic button push for Mets fans today. How do you do that? Uh, I would say I'm going to add to it. Don't look at the stock market today. Don't do not do that if you're a Mets fan. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Cohen's probably happy. He's probably going to go buy everything since everything's going crazy down. I would say this to him, Chris. I would say you've been going through this shit all year. I know, like, DeGrom has been healthy for the most part, but, like, you've been dealing with injuries the entire time. Lindor hasn't even really been Lindor, uh, but you've still been getting through it. So, you know, a little tough times, little rough waters you're going to give up. Like, let's go. Like, this is the time to get nitty and gritty, man. The, the, this is time to wake up and go. Everything's going to be okay. You still have a two-game lead in the division, and nobody's done anything behind you. So you'll be okay. Go make some moves, Steve Cohen. Go buy some some stocks today, Steve, and then go get some players. Okay. So if they had been swept yesterday, I mean, they were down 6 nothing after the they first were game. They down 6 -0. Right? It, it was, including one of the weirdest plays we've seen to all the years. Pirates. Not to the years. Pirates, Chris. I know. And so if they had been swept and the lead had been down to one game, I would say – Where's that panic button? Start pushing the shit out of that thing. But <laughs> really, yeah, one game. <laughs> yes, I, I am. Listen, I think one game can do wonders, particularly when you're down in the ninth inning against a guy who's been dominant this year, and Rodriguez on the mound. Sure. Um, I, I thought that was a huge, huge win for them. Plus, if you looked at, at the rest of their July schedule, yes, they're all competitive teams, but they're not elite teams. It's not like they're facing any of the monsters from the National League West, right? They've got Cincinnati twice, Toronto, and Atlanta. All solid teams that are going to be in the playoff hunt. But like I said, they're not the top creme de la creme of baseball. So take that for what it's worth. I know Edwin Diaz blew it the other night. I know you all blew a huge six-run lead in the eighth. But your bullpen's been very good. Carlos Carrasco might be coming back soon. And I think you're going to make some trades. Why do I always forget the cookies there? Because he hasn't put on a Mets uniform in a game. You know, like, yeah, you guys be – I mean, you guys had a great off season. You've weathered the storm. You're in first place right. at the end of July. Like, there's a lot of things to be happy about. Yes. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, speaking of the National League West, the two best teams in the majors go at it, starting in L.A. in a four-game series tonight. Giants lead the Dodgers by a single game in that division. What is going to be the biggest storyline for you over the next four nights? Oh, man. I, I want to see Cody Bellinger get it going. Like, it, or, like, I guess, is Cody Bellinger going to get it going? Because it's been pretty – I didn't know I, – Chris, I looked up some stats. I didn't yeah. know it was that bad, man. Horrible. So Horrible. I think that's interesting to me. These teams match up very well when you go position by position, uh, which also was a surprise to me. Uh, I knew, the Do obviously, the Giants have been doing well, but I always think of the Dodgers as this juggernaut team. Giants are right there with them. We need Cody Bellinger bad. Yeah. Um, so a couple things for me. Am I cutting Dodgers out? Start... What's that? Huh? Was I cutting out? A, a little bit. You're fine, though. You froze for about three seconds. You're I'm, okay. I'm moving. You go do your thing. I'm moving. Come on. Don't move. You're going to leave us. You're going to disconnect. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm very nervous right now. I'm very, very nervous. You're okay. All right. For me, the biggest story is what's going to happen with Max Muncy. Okay, in, uh, in the series against the Giants, 29 at-bats. He's got seven homers. He's got an OPS of over 1,500. He's got a slugging percentage of over 1,000. And here's the reason it might be panics time, at least in this series, for the Dodgers. Max Muncy's wife is due with their 
first <laughs> child in Arizona. So he is on baby standby. So at any point, he can hop on a Southwest flight from, you know, from Burbank to Arizona and go be a dad for the first time, which is awesome. But it just means they might not have him in the series against the Giants. That, that's not exactly what you want. Congratulations, Max, by the way. <laughs> but, yeah. But, you know, yeah, you need a guy like that, especially a belly struggling. Uh, by the way, congratulations, Mrs. Muncie, because she's kind of doing all the heavy lifting on this one. That's what I said. Yeah, congrats to the Muncies, really. That's what we should be saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You didn't miss any. T- Your oldest one's five. So did you miss any, did you miss any games? I, I did. I, um, I missed like three games or something like that. Okay. It's amazing. Cal Ripken Jr., I think, had both of his children during the baseball season and did not miss games. I think they were born on off days or something weird. At least one of them was born during the season. Okay, okay. I was, I was, I was, I was there in the hospital sleeping on the whack ass sofas yeah. they give you. Bad sleeping for all. What's of you up with that? Can't they figure that out? Yeah. Next time, if we ever did this again, I'd be bringing my own air mattress and just lying that shit down anywhere. I'm That's... gonna deliver my own baby. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that one. That'd be great. You know what? You gotta let, let Jake deliver the next child. Oh my god. How would that go? Wouldn't be able to tell which one's my kid. Jake or the baby. They all look the same. Wow. Him and, him and Corey Seager. Wow. No, Kyle Seager. That's funny. Okay, I was wondering where you were going with that one. Uh, up next, Vladdy, another huge weekend against the Rangers with three more homers in three games. So, so if you haven't checked these stats, he is number one in batting average. He is number two in homers. He is number one in RBI. Um. How interested in this are you, and when do you start paying attention to whether or not he can get the triple crown? Now. You just said those numbers, man. That's incredible. I didn't mm-hmm. know his batting average was that high. Obviously, I know about the power numbers, and he's going to be driving in runs with that lineup because it's amazing. Uh, but for him to be able to keep the average up, too, I mean, that's no small feat right there. You know, I know we don't pay attention to batting average much anymore, but – you know, as a player, I think a lot of guys still hold it pretty dear, even though teams don't value it as much. You know, right. and we know we know you don't have to have the high batting average to be a valuable player, but when you do, and you're looking up at that jumbotron, you got threes in front of your name, like that's the real deal. So start paying attention now. This guy is an incredible talent, and it's fun to track stuff like this. I played against Miguel Cabrera when he did it. I think 2012. 2012. Yeah. Um, it was. It was awesome to watch him hit. And you get the same feeling when Vladdy's up there. Yeah. By the way, we don't have any nude photos behind you. It's just a different photo. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's just art, Chris. Have you ever I heard of I was going to say, which one? The five or three-year-old painted that one and charged two million. <laughs> wow. You want to know who this is? Sure. It's Brandon Boyd, the lead singer of Incubus. He does oh, art. I really that's like right. it. You told me that. You're right. You told me that. Beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm just saying that sometimes with art, People just throw shit against the canvas and That's say it's five hundred grand and go buy it. Like, and people are like, "Yes, this was not five hundred grand." I'm gonna tell you that right now. There might be a five in it. It was six hundred. Six hundred grand. Wow, God, you're so, <laughs> so smooth. Um, yeah, listen, I, I like paying attention to it because I just dipped through the stats this weekend, but I really won't start hardcore rooting for it until September. There's just too many freaky things that can happen, man. You know what? It's only, it's only a month away. It's six weeks. You don't like being excited about stuff? I, I do. I do, but I can't pour my full baseball energies into checking whether or not he's got the triple crown. Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it takes that long to look up the stats. <laughs> I will look at him, but I'm not going to be, like, flipping around every Vlad at bat saying, hey, man, you've got to I, I understand go that. I understand five that. tonight. Like, it's, it's on the – Periphery, right? Peripheral, the right word this morning. Peripheral, per- yeah. So then, turning that word into periphery. What is, is that? Periphery? A real word or not? Did I make that <laughs> shit up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the high school grad. Look at that. Man, oh man, I went to a good high school too. I, I think I fucked that up. All right, next one. Congrats to Alex Reyes of the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. He converted his 24th consecutive save to start his big league career, passing former twin great, among other teams, Latroy Hawkins for most consecutive sa- saves to begin a career. Uh, one to ten, what is the wow factor on that? 
it's pretty wowy, bro. I don't know what to give it. I mean, like an eight or a nine. Okay. Uh, a couple things. I met this guy at the All Star uh, game. Okay. And oh, I really that, was liked that the night? Was that the night that you went out without me? Yeah, it's, you know, it was like you know, it's a cool party that only I got invited to. But I met him. Super cool guy. Had all his family there. So number one, I love that when the guy includes their family in the festivities. That's awesome. And number two. Let me tell you how amazing it is to be a player on a team that has a lockdown freaking closer. You work your ass off to get the lead in the game, and you know you hand the ball to the guy in the ninth or the eighth, whatever it is, and the game's over. That's such a good feeling, Chris. And I know like the Cardinals haven't done what we wanted them to do this year, but finding a guy like this is so good for their future, and – it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm already on perfect season watch. How about that, Chris? For the saves. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I would give it – I would actually give it about a seven. Um, maybe because of his – hold on. Maybe because of his particular story, like an eight and, a, eight and a half. Okay. Because he missed two seasons plus lost basically another one to injury. So the way he's battled back and he's still only 26 years old and now he's, you know, is elite – I think that's pretty good. The one thing that worries me about him, just like the entire Cardinals bullpen, is his walk rate is off the charts. So I don't know how that hasn't bitten him in the ass yet, but good for him. What's his, would, what's his walk rate? I didn't even see that. I want to say it's like – maybe I was wrong when I read this last night, but I thought I saw something like 18%. I'm going to have to go check that out. That's not fun. See, I take everything I said back. When you have a closer on the mound that walks a bunch of people and puts everyone <laughs> on the base, that's not good. You know what? I don't want to make anybody feel bad here on this IG live, but maybe if I had been able to shake hands with him or give him a bro hug at a party in Denver at the all-star game festivities, it would probably be like a nine or a 10, <laughs> but because somebody just ghosted and went out and left our Airbnb without even asking, Hey, you want to roll? That's not what happened. We have in the chat, Luke said 7.3 walks per nine. That's not very good. No, that's tough. Why are you trying to ignore what I'm talking about, by the way? Don't go don't go to the chat to have you bail your ass out. You still got to explain yourself to me. Next, next time, Chris. Next time. Next time. Let, hey, everybody in the chat, do you think it was cool that Ploof left for me behind at the house? You were filming something. I was. You couldn't have waited like 15 minutes? No. <laughs> Did he go get your roll on? Dang. Oh, man. All right. I feel like you're really – serious about this i will bring you next time <laughs> <laughs> yes you 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 got it nailed i'm really just you know what i'm gonna go talk to my therapist about it in about <laughs> eight minutes and get charged a million dollars here's one good stat for you cards fans 37 and 0 this year when leading after eight Damn. Boom. that's good they've only See won that they've only won 40 something games all right <clears throat> last one weirder play in pittsburgh this season the taiwan walker knocked the ball foul although it was a fair ball and have the Pirates running around like it was a merry-go-round, scoring three runs on the play. Or the former Pirate first baseman, Will Craig, walking Javi Baez back to home, not tagging him and letting Baez go while somebody else scored on the play. Did you say crazier play? Yes, crazier play in Pittsburgh this year. <sighs> I mean, it's still the Will Craig thing. It, it is. Like, Taiwan went there. I don't know what the shovel pass out of out – of, that's never right. good. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. You know, cause just because of that reason right there. And you can't review uh, balls in front of the uh, the base, fair right. foul in front of the base. But, you know, with the Will Craig thing, he, like, left to go to Korea and left this whole statement saying, like, this play is not going to define me. Will, it's, it won't define you. Like, it only, it's only going to define you if you let it define you, man. Like, I don't know. I, I feel really bad. We, we talked about it, obviously, because we talked about baseball, and that was a big kind of crazy play. Uh, so I almost feel, like, a little bit responsible for him feeling so bad. But I, my advice to Will would be, like, forget about it. Go hit some homers, and no one will remember that. I mean, every once in a while you're going to show up on a blooper reel, that's fine. Just wear it, man. Well, can, can we be honest here for a second? Yes, Will Craig might have left to kind of clear his head and all that sort of stuff, but he was going to be, you know, he's a former first-round pick of the Pirates, and I think he's yeah. going to be a free agent this year anyway, okay? You, um, but he left for 425,000 reasons. That's how much he's getting paid the rest of the year by the Kiwoom heroes. Okay. So you could say it's all to clear your head and stuff like that. He's getting paid four hundred twenty-five grand the rest of the year instead of having to – 
work his way through the minor leagues. But did he get designated, or am I remembering? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think he did get designated. Okay, then never mind. He didn't go there to clear his head. He went there because there was an opportunity for him. So make the most of your well, opportunity. There is. Yeah. Hey, good for him. And I don't begrudge anybody to go chase some cash. But just say, hey, yeah, I got a great opportunity to go play and make some money. And uh, But don't give me the whole bullshit about having to clear your head. You yeah, probably weighed on them heavily. I mean, I've made a lot of dumb mistakes, and they do weigh on you heavily. But now as, like, an older guy looking back, and I know how to handle them. Just forget about it. Like play into it a little bit. You could have. You could have probably got some sponsorships just Absolutely. fucking around with it. You know, a thousand percent. Whew. All right, but yeah, I, I, I'm actually I'm rooting for that guy. Oh, I'm, I'm rooting for him too. I don't ever. I don't begrudge anybody for that. So as, um, as long as you. What's, what's going on? Isla, stop it. What she? What do we got? I have no idea. She's banging on something over there. She's three. Let her be. Let her be happy. It's the middle of I July. Trust, trust me, she's happy. All right. So is Mrs. Rose. Celebrated a birthday this weekend. I saw that. I saw yeah. That. Yeah. I think How was I, that? Can, How was the dinner? It was great. You can pay for cow in installments, right? They take <laughs> monthly fees. Is that where you went? Wow. Dude, have you been to the one in West Hollywood? I believe I have. Way back when. We, we had the best nice. table set up ever. A ton of great people watching. Nice. How many autographs did you sign? Including the ones that uh, when I paid for dinner? <laughs> That's one. It. Just it. <laughs> that was it. All right, before we get out of here, what do you have coming up on John Boy Media? Oh, man. Uh, I'm going outside. One, to film a sequence that's going to come out tomorrow or Thursday. Mm -hmm. We have two right. this week. And then I'm doing um, Talking Baseball Series recap. Might just be me and Jimmy or me and Jake today. Oh, yeah, because Jimmy, I think Jimmy's moving and stuff. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. Take over yeah. that damn show. You know what I'm saying? What about you? What you got? Yeah, I was going to fill in, but I'm driving to San Diego this morning to help my son move, speaking of moving. Good dad. So that'll be fun. Uh, we've got it. Uh, that away, dad. Shop.johnboymedia. We've got the latest edition of the Rose Rotation. Tyler Glass now is joined by his hyena lapping teammate, Brett Phillips, where we break down his entire pitching performance. I mean, you all have heard Brett Phillips talk. Crazy, He's man. amazing. He just... He fills it up. He's got, and he has a great outlook on life. Something that he and uh, Glassnow and his other buddy named Tyler came up with. It's a very interesting thought process, and it made total sense, and it made me feel better over the last forty-eight hours since we taped the episode. He's always happy, so I'm, I'm excited to hear what he has to say. That's yeah, me too. Me too. I've never seen that guy like mad. Oh no! It, I asked him that. I said, "Are you?" ever angry he answers the question because it's i think it's a legit question like i've never seen that dude not smiling okay yeah i'm curious to see what he says yeah uh let's see here a couple other things durham bulls representing uh tampa bay rays triple a affiliate go out and get that hat this is not to pay homage to um Peyton manning or any other former great denver broncos although a lot of people think it's a broncos hat it is not as a durham bull who AAA thinks affiliate. that's a broncos hat I, I got it twice this weekend when I was out shopping. Interesting. Like, you a Broncos guy? I'm like, hell no. <laughs> like, why are you wearing a Broncos hat? I said, this is a Durham Bulls. Go see the movie Bull Durham. You'll learn a little bit more. Love it. Uh, hey, tomorrow, can we go early again? I got to tape uh, Miguel Rojas and Eric Hosmer together. I'll be up. Look at these bags. I'll be up at 715 just for you, man. God, you are the best. You already showered. Hair's in perfect, on point today and everything. All right, go tell Isla to go work on her drum skill set. I, I think it's awesome. Everybody have a great baseball Monday out there. Enjoy the day. Don't forget to check out Rose Rotation, Sequence, and Talking Baseball, and all the other amazing programming we have on John Boy Media. Thanks for making it so much fun, everybody. We'll uh, see you soon. Peace.